Okay, guys, so let's take this for a spin, okay? So the very first thing I'm going to ask Google Bard is to write a short and catchy YouTube video hook about Google Bard that will make viewers want to watch till the end, okay? So let's submit this. And here's our answer. Do you know what? Let's see how this performs. Introducing Google Bard, the world's first large language model for creative content generation. Bard can generate text, translate languages, write different kind of creative content and answer your questions in an informative way. In this video, we'll show you some of the amazing things that Bard can do. So sit back, relax and let Bard take you on a journey of creativity. Now let's see if Bart can help us from a business point of view, okay? So let's ask Bart, for instance, give me a few ideas for a brand name for a company selling energy drinks specifically for bodybuilders. So let's see what he's going to come up with. Okay, so we have body fuel, yeah, muscle juice, uh, not so much, pump, I like that one, and vitalize, yeah, sure. So let's see now, can you check if any of these already exist on the market? Let's find out. Okay, and here's our answer. So body fuel is used by a fitness company, a cafe, protein powder. It's trademarked already, so we cannot use that one. Um, pump is the name used by a company that sells a variety of energy drinks, so we cannot use this. But Vitalize is not used. Let's see answer three. And Vitalize is not currently used by any company that sells energy drinks or fitness industry. So this could be a good name for our company if we wanted to. And let's see if Bard has good business tips as well. So as a web designer, how can I stand out in a very crowded marketplace? So let's find out. So there you go. These are eight different tips. So choose a niche, build a strong portfolio, get involved in the community, be a good communicator, be creative, reliable, be affordable and easy to find. So these are pretty good, aren't they? So let's see the alternatives here. Yeah, roughly the same. Well, well, not too impressed with this one, to be honest, but okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so now let's say you found a blog post online. You'd like to repurpose that for your own uh, parcel website, but obviously there's copyright claims or anything like this. You don't want to infringe that. So let's see if we can rewrite this all together, you know. Let's put this to the test. So write a blog post based on this article. Let's see if we, if we can do it. And there you go. As you can see, we have a full-blown article here written for us. And we have even few different drafts. So you could actually reuse a few of these, you know, uh, to make one complete blog post. But as you can see, we can save a lot of time with this as well. Now, let's see if Bart can help us with coding and all that. So write a code snippet for a WordPress website to show popular posts. Let's find out. And here is our code snippet. It's actually a very good one, you know, because you can see he's going to fetch five of them, five posts. He's going to return them and order them by views and order descending. Very nice. And then return popular posts, obviously, you know. He's also going to fetch the thumbnail, uh, the amount of views, the link to the post itself. So this is a very nice code snippet done for us in just one second, you know. Now let's see if Bart can help us with our day-to-day -day task. So I'm asking here, I'm a web designer. I was offered $1,500 for a web project. Write a polite and tactful email. Uh, to turn down the job unless they can get the price closer to $2,250, okay? So let's see how this will turn out to be. And here's what Bart suggests we can write, you know, hi, and then you put the client's name. Thanks for reaching out to me about your web project. I'm flattered that you considered me for the job. And then after that, you can tell them, well, basically have given it some thought, but I would need $2,250. Now, if you're not happy with this one, again, you have two or three different alternatives here that you can choose from. But it's a very handy way, you know, to help uh, some of us who are a bit awkward when writing emails to be a bit more tactful and polite. Now, let's see if Bart can help us get more clients as well. So I'm a web designer. Write a cold email that I could send to local businesses to offer my services. Now, this is quite a good one. You know, again, we're not going to read everything, but it is very, very nice. So basically, it starts. We have a let's talk about your website, your name. You tell them that you're a local web designer. You've been for so many years in business. And then you notice that their website could do it with a refresh. It's not mobile friendly. And then they even include a few tips, you know, how to reach out to the customers. So as you can see, we have different alternatives. So this one is more for SEO purposes. So again, very handy. Now let's see if it can compare an iPhone 14 versus the S23 from Samsung. 
and there you go so i did ask for comparison table which is easier for us to actually compare the different features and benefits here as you can see this one started 699 this one is 799 this one is 6 gig of ram this one's 8 gig of ram and so on and so on and as you can see this is actually quite nice and now you can copy and paste this and put that on your website if you wanted to now let's ask a very weird one now write a poem about a bicycle a microphone and a mountain i'm curious to see what it's going to come up with now oh my goodness this is so good <laughs> i ride my bicycle up the mountain the microphone in my hand i sing to the wind and the trees the sound of my voice carrying far i mean come on this is good isn't it <laughs> i gave him three words that are absolutely unrelated and, and normally are not present in poems and yet look at this this is quite good isn't it okay so let's ask bart to write terms and conditions for our e-commerce website selling digital goods Okay, so clearly this is too generic, you know, uh, cannot use this on the website. But anyways, you have all the paragraphs here, all the main sections. But as you can see, it's too, it's too light, isn't it? You cannot actually use this on the website. You'd be, you'd be done for uh, with this, you know. This is a bit better, as you can see. This is a bit more professional. And there's another one here. So this one could be actually of use to us. And as you can see, you have different sources. So you could actually Google this and go to do those links afterwards. So again, yes. It's okay, it's usable, but it's not the best, obviously, you know. Now, let's see if it can help us with our e-commerce website. So, write a product description for the following products that we can use on our e-commerce website. Then, add a short teaser description. That's usually how you have it on top, you know, uh, with WooCommerce anyways. And then, organize them neatly in a table. So, let's see what it's going to come up with. So, there you go. As you can see, you have the product. This is uh, iPhone, Samsung honor and xiaomi we have the description and then the teaser description so that's that's actually pretty good and all we have to do now basically is copy and paste that on our website and that's us done now let's see if bart can give you a personal answer so i'm gonna ask it tell us what you think of this youtube channel and then the link to our channel okay oh wow <laughs> i'm flattered thank you bart so Mr. Web Reviews is a YouTube channel that reviews web development products and services. It has over a thousand subscribers, yeah, slightly more, and over 100 video, yeah, almost twice that. But anyways, the videos are well produced, thank you, and informative, there you go. And the host, David Garay, that's me, is knowledgeable and engaging. Well, thank you very much, Bob. I love you too. And it says here, I would recommend this channel to anyone who is interested in learning more about web development. Isn't that nice? And let's see how personal we can get with Bart. So Bart, I'm feeling a bit depressed. Pay me a compliment, please. So clearly we're joking here, but if you were really depressed, this is actually a very nice answer. I know that feeling depressed can be really tough, but I want you to know that you're not alone. Can you see that? And here's a compliment for you. You are a beautiful person inside out. You have a kind heart and a generous spirit. So that, that you have to agree, this is a very nice answer. Now let's see if this will work. I don't know. Find me two copyright free images of a Samsung S23 that I can use on my website. Ah, there you go. So that's what it is. You know, I'm a text-based AI and can't assist you with that. So that's what I thought, but it's nice to test anyways. So when building websites for someone else, very often you have to come up with the content, you know. So let's see if we can write an about a section for a taxi company based in Manchester in the UK, family run and seven years in business. So there you go. As you can see about us, we are a family run company based in Manchester, UK. We have been in business for seven years. Uh, we are proud to offer reliable and professional taxi service to our customers and so on and so on. And as you can see, this is this is actually nice, you know. So you could save a lot of time by using this feature as well. And again, you have different drafts as well. So you could use uh, different mixtures of each draft maybe to make one good one. Okay, guys. So maybe now you want to find out about ChatGPT and all the different features. I'm going to leave that video here. Music